build your own human chain. Welcome back to Good News Next Week, everybody. I'm James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com with a very lazy Labor Day episode of Good News Next Week. It's episode 50-something, and this is for the week of September 4th, 2017, as always, through the spring and fall, coming to you from the balcony garden, which we've kept pretty green, and as hot as it's been, as dry as it's been, it's kind of a miracle. And on these Good News Next Week episodes, we look at some of the ways that we are winning in solutions-oriented stories, and they're all submitted by you using hashtag Good News Next Week, and let's fly through them. Our buddy Sean Cathcart, up first, veteran swap cocktail of drugs for weed. That story originally from the Daily Caller and the first of our several Good News stories that could also double as part of our Mary Jane Report monthly episodes with our buddy Mr. Chris. Another one from Sean Cathcart, Massachusetts Governor signs marijuana legalization bill. It kicks in July 1st, 2018, and that comes from marijuana.com. Up in Massachusetts, court rules workers can't be fired for using medical marijuana. That via Thomas Paine on Twitter. And another one from our buddy Sean Cathcart, and staying up in the New England part of the states, New Hampshire decriminalizes simple marijuana possession to help nullify federal prohibition, which is essentially happening in lots of ways. We've talked about, hopefully, West Virginia doing a little bit of nullification with their moves on industrial hemp. The one and only James Corbett submits a good news bit about soda. Comes from Fortune.com. Soda consumption falls to 30-year low in the U.S., which is fantastic news. The kind of not good news side to that is, of course, those big boy soda companies bought up all the smaller not soda competition about a decade ago. They bought all the tea, all the energy drinks, a lot of those places. So still, you got to double check which thing you're you're drinking. And if I haven't actually talked about it here on these good news episodes, I've probably talked about it on Food World Order episodes of Your Morning Monarchy, which again, every morning, 9 a.m. Pacific time, we broadcast an hour of live news talk, thoughts, music, and so much more at MediaMonarchy.com slash listen. I was able to kind of finally slay the soda demon by using sparkling water. Once I started to drink sparkling water, it was like, oh, I wasn't really ever in it for the sugar. I was in it for the bubbles. So that is good news, again, from our buddy James Corbett using hashtag good news next week as we are looking at some of the ways that we are winning. Another one from our buddy Sean Cathcart, Man's Blessings Box, a food pantry for the hungry that you can, of course, replicate yourself. Blessings Box, community fridges. We've been talking about these things essentially since the beginning of these good news episodes, and it ties in with, I believe, our next tweet here. And this one comes from our good buddy Eric Moshe, who contributes a ton of news to pretty much every media monarchy hashtag and this one is about a little free library that's open swire law firm opens a little free library this originally comes from ksfy and i'm not exactly sure where that comes from but again it shows that these stories all spread as these solutions oriented stories have all spread peer-to-peer open source style even between ourselves right here Another one from our buddy Sean Cathcart. Canceled $30,000 wedding becomes dinner for Indiana homeless people. And our buddy Matt up in Idaho who runs Convince Yourself Media. He's even launched his own new podcast, The Decentralized Podcast. He submits Entrepreneur Fixes Decrepit Public Road with his own money. And we've talked about those stories like we talked about on New World Next Week recently. of the case up in Canada, the guy who fixed the park stairs himself. And of course it turned into bureaucratic boondoggle, but actually, ultimately, the right thing gets done, and it brought a lot of attention to sort of the DIY voluntarist ethic. Clint Torres has submitted Dutch students grow a biodegradable car made of beet sugar and flax, and that story originally comes from Inhabitat.com. Another one from Eric Moshe from Banjo to Hurdy Gurdy Montana Folk Festival was showcased for instrument makers, and I believe there's a twofer from Montana. More Montanas are keeping bees. That story originally coming from KBZK, and again submitted by our buddy Eric Moshe, and another one from Sean Cathcart, and it's the the title track and the album art of this episode, 50-something of Good News Next Week. Florida family rescued by beachgoers' human chain, and it's those kind of amazing stories that you see, and of course the photos all instantly spread and go around the world. It doesn't take much anymore. And I was thinking about that. Honestly, this Good News Next Week episode's been kind of on the shelf and waiting for a couple of weeks, and of course we take the most part of August off. We are coming back in 
tomorrow. We took today off for Labor Day. No broadcasting today. But I wanted to make this Good News Next Week episode, which has been titled, which has the, the video, you know, make your own human chain for weeks. And of course, I just wanted to use this real story of people making human chain in Florida to save a family that was drowning out in the quick tide of the sea. I wanted to basically use this as a sort of a metaphor for a lot of the things that we want to try and do, and that it is actually people coming together in a human chain. So that was the title of this episode for weeks, I just hadn't actually recorded it. And then Hurricane Harvey happens, and we see that much more of people coming together and helping each other, and it's now almost a cliche of week in. The media wants to try and divide us, but you can obviously see when the rubber meets the road, people are going to help people. And it's not about a phony left-right divide. So again, hopefully, unfortunately, sometimes it does take tragedy to bring people together. But let's let's use that as a positive thing to kind of keep building and, and piggyback off of that. And our final tweet of this Good News Next Week episode was shared by our buddy in the UK, Darren Williams at Dazalt Theory. So that's even someone from across the pond looking at the state saying, hey, they want to portray you guys as fighting all the time, but from what I can tell, people all come together when it matters, hopefully most. And let that not just be an isolated event and that we keep doing these things. That's all I wanted to say. That's a good news next week episode from the balcony here. I know we're wrapping up, coming up close to fall. I'm not sure if I'll shoot another good news next week episode out here. Sorry, you only got the little bit of Frankie there at the beginning. She's, of course, a wild, wiry young cat. And maybe when we move inside, I don't know if you'll see much of her then at all. But maybe we'll shoot one more out here as we have a couple more weeks left of summer. It's kind of a strange orange haze today as we're looking at all the wildfires up in the Pacific Northwest and up in Canada. Just hope you're doing safe and sound and productive and awesome whenever, wherever you are, my friends. As we'll wrap up this episode 50-something of Good News Next Week. Some of the ways that we are winning and solutions-oriented stories you can submit using hashtag Good News Next Week. Or you can always reach out, james, at mediamonarchy.com. Hope you check us out on the stream Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, mediamonarchy.com slash listen. I'm James Evan Pilato for MediaMonica.com. Thank you so much for watching and listening and reminding you, as always, don't hate the media. Become the media. Take care. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology, and the occult. All remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.